I'm not sure why the banjo is my instrument of choice. However, I do know that even when I'm riding in the uh, car, the truck, and the radio's on down about as, about as low as it can go volume-wise, all of a sudden I hear something that sounds pleasing to my ear and I turn it up and it's the banjo playing. The reason I like the banjo above other instruments is because it just, again, it just does something for me. I can uh, sense it subconsciously. So therefore, when I'm consciously aware of it, I enjoy it even more so. My mother, she uh, played the guitar a little bit. Uh, she had some lessons back in the 50s and I'd gotten to be 16 years old. And she told me about the guitar when she was learning the guitar, she said her fingers bled. Well, that kind of scared me off from the guitar and I come to find out later it was because the action was so high on the strings in the 50s, they didn't have the action down low enough. So I decided I'd try the banjo since the strings were smaller gauge on the banjo and I liked the sound of it. I've been really fortunate. I've been with some bands and all that uh, we were able to get uh, some awards, that sort of thing. Uh, I remember getting a, uh, inducted into the Atlanta Country Hall of Fame as an honoree in November 2005. Then the next year I was a part of the Guinness Book of World Records largest banjo ensemble. That was held at Turner Field in September of 2006. And also, we were able to play on the Grand Ole Opry one time back in 1995, I believe it was. We won second place out of about 93 entries and got to go back and play at the Cannery the next month in October of that year. And we won the fourth place out of 12 entries and got to actually be on television. to relate to whatever it is that you like to do and if you enjoy doing it you become better at it and then you enjoy it just that much more.